and you find out that I actually lived with Jesus, that there was a pre-earth life, and that Jesus knew me. Really, I had a, I had a good opinion of Mormons because my kids were raised around Mormons here in Bentonville, Arkansas. And boy, I just wanna cry saying this. They're all such great kids. I'm around a lot of different families and children. And the Mormons, which is just what we call people from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is their, their demeanor, their kindness stood out above everybody else's. They had an inner joy that was inexplainable. And it did many times make me pause. I wanted to stop and just go, what do they have? What do they know? And I don't think it was until this past summer that I was open-minded enough to, to listen. The reason I was able to listen to the missionaries is because of where God had worked in my life already. I have worked nonstop for 17, 18 years as a single parent. And I was working for a large retail company and I needed a break. And so I had went on leave and I was actually in a position where my heart was calm. I didn't realize that months before God was preparing me to be in a place of being still, of stillness. To read something and believe it's true doesn't make it true. And so I have a little bit of skepticism when young men come to my door and say to read something and just feel it. Because I, I think our heart is deceptive beyond all things. And I hate for people to have to tell them that they're right. But when I took the time to sit down and read the Book of Mormon, I could honestly hear my voice, my head, Jesus's voice, however people want to term it, there's more. And there's more in the Book of Mormon for you to know. After many years of hearing that the Mormons are these evil people who are not going to go to heaven because of what they say, and then you read a book that is telling you the same things the Bible says, why would that not be true? Why would there not be people that heard from Jesus across seas? And why would they not document that and write that down? Why would they not want me to know that? Why is there a whole conspiracy trying to keep me from knowing more? But if the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the restored church of Jesus Christ, then why would there not be persecution? Obviously, the persecution that Jesus went through when he was walking on earth, why would it not be the same for all the Latter-day Saints? That just makes sense to me. It's almost like our eyes are kept blind for so many years and they have to be opened again. Even as a, what I would call myself a Christian, I once was blind, but now I see and I never thought that would apply to me. It's amazing that I could say to everybody, Jesus loves you, he died on the cross for you, he rose again. I don't know how many times I've said that, how many times I've shared that story. I wasn't even born yet. So how did he die on the cross for me personally and make it more personable if he just died on the cross for everyone, you know, in the past, the present, and the future? Seems so vague. And then you read the Book of Mormon, you study with the missionaries, and you find out that I actually lived with Jesus, that there was a pre-earth life, and that Jesus knew me. That's beyond comprehension. But boy, doesn't it make sense. Because if Jesus died on the cross for me, then he really knew me and he really did sacrifice himself for me. One church would say, if you don't get baptized, you're not going to heaven. Another church would just say, it's just a public profession of your faith. And so I was confused at how the Protestant religions could have such a different view on that. And so I just didn't want to do it. And then the missionaries explained what baptism really means and why it's so important and why Jesus did it. And they talked about having really the authority to baptize, which I think is what I dealt with and didn't know it. And 
getting baptized through the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was probably the best day of my life. Well, I know there's people out there. I know you're out there because <laughs> my friends are out there um, thinking I made the worst mistake in my life. I don't know what to say to people that, that I love that won't take the time to read the Book of Mormon. I'm asking you to be still, to open your mind. I'm asking you to sit down by yourself with the Bible, with the Book of Mormon, with missionaries, and ask Jesus to reveal to you what the truth is, what the more is, and know him. <laughs>